I am at 3065 Robidal. The house has a 30 year tab roof, looks to be in good shape. Nice lawn, mature trees. Over to the side is the shed. Here's your view of the neighborhood. That is actually right there, 399. That's not probably the only drawback on this house is that it is on a corner lot of 399. However, as you can see, plenty of trees to buffer the noise. So here's your view. And I don't know how much this house just sold for, but I know it was listed in the 500s. It's a bigger house. Um, and they're currently changing a lot of things up on it. And, but I know it was a very well-priced house. And then here's the rest of the neighborhood. And then that's still your yard, your lot all the way out to the corner there. It is a little over half an acre. So it's a nice size lot. Um, very large driveway and plenty of room to play basketball. Nice upgraded uh, lights for outside. Whenever you walk up, they have stamped the concrete to look like tile. Okay, so we're walking up. You have your foliage. Again, the upgraded light fixtures. And view from the front yard. Now there is a video recorder here on the tree. And the listing agent is here with me, so you may see him running around. <laughs> Trying to hide. <laughs> so entrance into really entrance into uh, the yeah, front yeah. door. You walk into travertine floors. Okay. Upgraded light fixture. Okay. We have this is actually wallpaper, but it's very detailed, very nice. Okay, walk into the office. And most of their furniture here is very large scaled furniture. Okay, and then we'll walk back out and into the formal dining. So whenever you walk into the house, you have your formal dining to your right and your office to your left. Formal dining has carpet. The carpet has, the padding under the carpet is upgraded. So here's the living room. The living room is very spacious. We have a very large entertainment center, large couch and a piano, and another large chair and fireplace in the living room. Okay, so if we walk in, we go right. We have another entrance to the dining room. We keep on walking and you can either enter the bathroom or the kitchen. First we're going to go to the bathroom. Again, travertine tile, commercial wallpaper, granite countertops, undermount sink, flush fixtures. Now the cabinets have been professionally um, painted with texture. Each cabinet in each bathroom is a little different. This one appears to be more alligator skin, very nice quality. Okay, so now into guest room one. And then your closet door there. Very nice size bedroom back into the hallway and we have the AC and the AC actually has an ultraviolet light connected to it so that way it will kill the pathogens through the air. Okay, into the kitchen, granite island, granite countertops, stainless steel throughout the kitchen.
undermount sink. A nice tall cabinetry. 42 inch cabinets and the island actually is a uh, it locks in place, but it roll, has wheels on it as well. Okay, so if you didn't catch that, he said the island locks in place, but is has wheels and can be moved, and the cabinetry is 42 inches tall. So, okay, and again, it's all travertine throughout. Now, the eat-in kitchen. <laughs> Upgraded furniture fixtures. Again, with the wallpaper different wallpaper and we go into the laundry room this is the dryer he believes it conveys with the house and you can either hang them or fold them and allow them to dry very nice um, upgrade and here is the hot water heater. I'm sure it's also uh, energy smart and probably upgraded. Now we're going to go into the garage. The garage is oversized. Two separate doors for each car. Each one has its own automatic garage door opener. There is the attic access in the window. Okay, now we're going to go into the kitchen and we can access the backyard through this door here. However, we're going to first finish looking at the rest of the house. So now to go to... Hey, well, these are Hunter Douglas Venetian blinds as well. Okay. From what I've been told anyway. Hunter Douglas Venetian blinds, so that's an upgrade. Okay. And then to the other guest room. The unique thing about this house is that each room has its own wing of the house and they are not connected as most houses are. So you everybody gets their own privacy. And this is a very large guest bedroom. As you can see, two twin size beds with still lots of furniture. And then the closet, nice size closet. And it even has a dresser in there, so very large closet. And then for the bedrooms, they all have their own little remotes to connect it to the wall for the ceiling fan and light. Guest bedroom, or guest bathroom, again, granite countertop, under mount sink, professionally done painting the, the cabinetry, nice toilet, travertine, bathtub. Again, it is, does have wallpaper. I'm sure you guys would like the fighter planes up top here, but... <laughs> But this wallpaper is actually commercial grade, very nice. And again, you have your digital boxes on your light switches. Now back out. Now on the ceiling in here, we do have another access to attic point, but you don't notice that the ceilings are very tall. Now to the master bedroom. They had Christmas, so please, uh, Keep that in mind. It's very, actually very clean. It's knowing, 45 minutes to prepare. <laughs> yeah, knowing that we only had 45 minutes to prepare for it. It's actually very clean. Okay, again, upgraded uh, commercial wallpaper, dual vanities, and then we have the cabinetry, large mirrors, and Pantry, just average uh, linen closet for the bathroom. Jetta tub. Stand up shower. And you could both fit in that if you wanted. 
is the toilet vent. Now back into the bedroom. This is a very large bedroom, oversized furniture, and you still have tons of walking space. And then here is the closet. Nice walk-in closet with tons of shoes. <laughs> Okay, now I'm gonna walk back out and we'll go take a little tour of the backyard. Now the backyard has a underground propane tank that keeps that is attached to the fireplace. Okay, so whenever you walk out onto the patio, we have two ceiling fans. Again, the stamped concrete. Nice wooden deck, a level with the concrete, the hot tub, and a fireplace. And I'm sure you guys have seen this before with the crystals and the wood barrel. Okay. We have the AC unit. Now, the backyard is a little shallow, but I think the dogs will still have plenty of room to run around. You do have that lot all the way to the road. However, you could fence it off with ease for the time being, just right there connected to the house. Okay, and now over to... Okay, we've got the pergola over the hot water, or the spa, hot tub. And we have a solar panel here. What's the solar panel for? Honestly, I'm a hand to hand. A solar panel or that's some kind of uh, digital something. Yeah, something for the hot tub. And then we still have another camera down here. It, it, it may be a, the RF like on switch or something for the, for okay. the, uh, the hot tub. And we believe this is probably the propane tank that operates the, the fireplace. And then over to the shed. Nice larger shed. Here's a side view. Now, Robodal is an area where you have circular roads, and so you could really take our dogs for a walk and just end back up on your road. And so your, this, this side is for your tools. This is a, approximately a 10 by 20 foot, okay. like 12 by 20 foot um, shed. 12 by 23 Yeah, that side for your further tools. Okay. This side is the cedar plank. And we also have the cedar plank side With here. AC, so it's got light in the window unit as well. Okay, yep, there's your AC unit, your lighting. And it's all cedar, so it would keep the bugs and other things out. Goodness. Nice, uh, strong plywood floor. around plenty of storage yeah. now back out very private lot even though it's located